Thank you for watching SEO video tips from OurChurch.com. In this video, we'll discuss installing the Google Analytics tracking code on your website. Hello, welcome to this edition of SEO Quick Tips for Anyone. I'm Kurt Steinbrook, Director of Marketing Services with OurChurch.com, and today we're going to look at how to set up Google Analytics on your Anyone website. Now you may ask, what does Google Analytics have to do with SEO? Well, it's not going to actually help you in the search engines directly, but it will give you information. And so you'll be able to see where are people who are coming to your website, where are they coming from? You know, where is this traffic coming from? What keywords that you're targeting are actually bringing traffic to your website? You can also set up goals in Google Analytics so you can see what keywords are producing the results that you want from your website, whether that's selling products or getting people to contact your organization, whatever it might be. So it's very good to have that information and that can help you with the optimization that you do for your site. So we're gonna look at how to set that up. It's actually a pretty easy process. As you can see, we are logged into our Anyone Admin and we're gonna go ahead and click on the Config tab at the top of the Admin. All right, and in the Config area, you're able to set up a lot of the different settings for your website. And you'll notice at the top, we have these three tabs, and one of them is Analytics. Okay, and so we have a box here where we can put the Google Analytics tracking code. Now, I, you will have to set up a Google Analytics account that's a separate thing from, from OurChurch.com, and for the sake of brevity in this video, we're not going to go through the whole process of creating an account. Um, but once you, basically, you just need to create a Google account and then sign up for Google Analytics. And when you do that, uh, one of the first pages that they'll show you is the tracking code page. So they want to get you that tracking code so you can set it up. You may already have a Google Analytics account. If you do and you log in and you see something like this, uh, what you would do is click on the Admin tab up here at the top. And then these uh, tabs down a little lower, we have a uh, Tracking Info. Okay, and so here you can see this is the uh, tracking code that we need to put into that box. So we'll just select that code, copy it, go back to our website page, and we'll paste it in there. All right, so we've pasted that code in, and we'll click Save Changes. And that's it. We are set up to start tracking. Now, it may take a little while for Google Anal Analytics to see it. Uh, sometimes it takes uh, an hour or two for Google Analytics to register that you actually have the code on the site. Um, but we can check and we see here our Google Analytics ID is there. Um, you'll notice that all the rest of the code was removed. That's because um, anyone already knows the rest of the code. So all it's really doing is pulling your ID number uh, to add in. And so that's how you get it set up. And at this point, you would just be able to go to Google Analytics and view the traffic on your site and set up whatever uh, goals and things like that you want to use. So if you have any questions uh, about SEO or hosting or web design or anything else, or if you'd like us to help with SEO services, please contact us at support at OurChurch.com. Again, I'm Kurt Steinbrook with OurChurch.com. Thank you.